Okay, this sun is finally ex exhibited the fault that, it, that the actual seller said it, it suffered from when he sold it. He said he switched it on and he never got any sound from it. Um, this is the video, this is the uh, amplifier you saw me clean up uh, last week because it was absolutely covered in fag smoke and gunge and just just a mess inside. Um, if you turn the amplifier on, let's wait for the audio relay to click in. Okay, it's clicked in now, but it doesn't always do that. Now, if you look at the monitor, the output on the offset of the speakers, that's the right-hand channel, and that's good. That's sort of more or less non-existent. You can see the Hewlett Packard meter, very low. If you look on the left-hand channel, the offset's half a volt. You can see that. Now, that's too high, really. Um, you need the offset well down below a minimal level and what that is caused by is this capacitor down here this is a, a coupling capacitor down here if I freeze this you lis listen for the relay on the protection circuitry just wait Which is up to one and a half volts. Okay, it's slightly better than it was because it's been on for a while. It's good to be able to freeze again. Did the reader click out? So I just got a waft of smoke from somewhere. I don't know where the hell that came from. Looks like the current went so high it put um I've got a resistor on the back of the uh, amplifier so when the relay trips in it it pulls the pulls the output down and what happened was when I froze that capacitor the DC offset went so high that the protection circuit didn't have a time to release and it smoked this resistor so if we look at the output now okay it's starting to drop back down again 0 0.8 volts 0 0.7 so in theory in a second you'll hear the relay clicking again Five, four. There you go. So there you go. That's a classic sign of a f the protection circuitry operating on a one of these um, DC coupled amplifiers. This capacitor's leaking and is failing. Um, it is getting better with use, and I've noticed this before. If I turn the amplifier on, I thought that seemed to take a long time for the protection relay to release, and then it's progressively got worse each time I've started it up. So this cap needs replacing. Um, so that's quite an interesting fault. You also also you need to check to make sure that you do have a very low DC offset on the outputs before you connect any speakers, as I mentioned before, because how, uh, well it's now at, it's back up to 2 volts. You see it jumping around at around 2 volts? In a minute, the protection relay will trip back in again to protect the output stage. Um, but some of these amplifiers don't have this sort of... Um, relay protection in them and that will cause all sorts of problems to uh, speakers you can actually burn out a, a base unit and not even know it you won't even hear anything so uh, yeah an interesting video to show um, a classic fault with a, D uh, a DC coupled amplifier and uh, yeah thanks for watching